Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back with Omnition Reader, Chapter 147. Really quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I greatly appreciate it. Doksha is either gonna delete Bi Young and slam Yu Sung's soul into Bi Young, or have Bi Young sacrifice someone else. Get Paul. Where Paul at? Let Bi Young go back, grab Paul, bring Paul back, put her inside of Paul, so that <laughs> so that it could be like just desserts. I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen, but let's hop into it and let's see what's going to happen. Here we go. Hey, think carefully. It won't be as easy as you think. Why don't you just let her perish instead? Do you want your channel to go down? Damn it. <laughs> I really shouldn't. Come on, I haven't even tried it before. Well, now's your chance. So what are we what are we about to have Bi Young do? Damn it. <laughs> so what did we just bring through? I can't believe this. <laughs> Never thought I'd conceive a child this way. <laughs> Scenario destroyer part four. What are we doing? Like, what did we just pull out of this portal? It looks like an egg. We have an egg. We put her soul in the egg. Space egg. I don't know. All right, it's the underworld, not moon. Huh, mister? What are you doing here again? Did you finally die? Not really. Namun, listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. That thing you're building right now? I forgot we're, we're building these things for, for, like, incoming war. You got what you came for? Yes. He finished the bottle I gave him in return for letting me go to Tartarus? He killed that bottle. He was done with that bottle before you walked away. I was actually lucky that Hades and Persephone were not in. All I did was tip him off just a little bit. Just a little. But since Namun is quick-witted, quick I'm sure he can bring about a great change. Now I'm really looking forward to the Gigantomachia. Wait, are we? Is Yu Sung gonna be one of the Giganto Machias? There is a message that the Queen left for you. Queen? Yes, let me recite it for you. Incarnation Dokcha Kim. Incarnation Dokcha Kim. I see you've been accomplishing the labors through quite interesting means. Many constellations of the Star Stream have their eyes on you now. However, not all of them are looking at you in a favorable light. You should prepare yourself. Could Hades and Persephone have been summoned because of me? Hmm. Huh. I've been getting fewer reactions from the bigger constellations as of late. Like Uriel for one. And also... Ariel. <laughs> Constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband is disappointed in you. Constellation Secret of Plotter is consoling Prisoner of the Golden Headband. <laughs> I see that those guys are still here. Well, there's no use worrying about that now. What's more important is that I don't ruin the stories that I've been building up until now. Dokcha. How long has it been? What's going on? Someone has entered this world through the portal in Korea. An additional participant now? I don't know the details myself, but... This way, mister! Who the hell are you? Uh... Ni Sob Jung? Who is this? What happened? 
Tokja, you must not come back. Must not come back. What the hell happened? How did he come through? I only thought 10 people were allowed. He died. What on earth happened? Ren. Did something like this happen in Japan as well? No. Who's this guy? Oh. He might have been attacked while crossing through the portal. But what are the chances of that? Then are the people who are left then are the people who are left behind fighting amongst themselves? You said that Korea didn't have an absolute throne, right? That's right. Then that could be it. If a country without something like the absolute throne that grants someone absolute power, there's often a shift of power between competing groups. But we're still early in the scenario. And there are people like Sangha, Yuan, and even my mother. <clears throat> and even my mother and soul right now. Unless there's a group that has enough power to fight against them. Something like that can never happen. This is a fire panel, though. Right. Yeah, he's one of the, Okay, I, I remember. Ex I remember him now. He was with, it was him and then the other guy with the um brown hair. Brown hair, right? Those two. Like, we, we watched them turn into characters. That's who that is, right? Nothing is certain unless we see it for ourselves. The additional rewards have the, uh, for the main contributors have arrived. Main contributors, Dok Kim and Jung Yaku. That makes sense. You are absolutely right. First, let's see what's going on. Additional rewards, Moon Wave Folded Fan, triple S grade, Blue Dragon Sword, triple S grade, Magic King's Bracelet, double S grade, one A grade skill of your choice. The portal's opening back up now. Hooray! <laughs> there go the heroes who save Peaceland. The people of Peaceland are singing of your legend. His name isn't Dokuza or Dogza. It's Dokja. Oh, it's Dokja. It's a really cool image of this right here. Darn it. <laughs> Why did they have to make the lyrics so stupid? Maybe they've been moved because of the skill I chose as my reward. You have managed to protect Peaceland from peril. There are certain skills that are near impossible to learn regardless of their level. I'll pick number four. A good example would be this A grade skill that you, that you can only obtain in peace land. Hopefully it's not a technique that you have to be tiny to use because right now he has a bookmark for electrification that he can only use as a tiny person. So unless I get, I would just get a, a potion that allows me to turn tiny so I could then use the bookmark electrification so I could go crazy in the real world. <laughs> a good example would be this A grade skill that you can only obtain in Peace Land. I will pick the A grade skill. <laughs> Why do I do this? Why do I always do this? All I had, I li uh, literally, all I had to do was that. <laughs> Why do I do that? I always do that. I always stop and go on this. I just spit. I always, I'll always stop and go on this long, contrived, stupid rant and then scroll like two clicks and the answer's right there. <laughs> Miniaturization. Now that you've collected your rewards, it's time to head home. The people here must have grown on you the past few days. You should say goodbye. We love you! <laughs> this achievement will be revealed once you've become a constellation. Will Kyrios leave him with a smile? No, he's still, still stone face. I think he's thanking you. <laughs> I'm sorry? I just feel that although I just feel that way. 
Although I don't know why. This man is stone cold. I hope to see you all again alive. We'll meet again, Mr. Doksha. Heart is great, man. Should we get going too? That's really cool. I would want this on my wall. The main scenario has ended. I would want that on my wall. I really would. It's pretty cool. Peace Land arc was really good. I liked it a lot. If this is like the conclusion for Peace Land, I liked it a lot. Liked it a lot. I'd really it, it gave us something that was super duper mind bending. It had really good action. It introduced us to a bunch of cool new characters. Karyos is like one for the books. I really like Karyos, even though we didn't really um really didn't get anything too much deep with them. We got that one that one chapter where Dok just spent like training under him for the two weeks. We got that and we got to get a peek into like his mind. We got to see like a glimpse of um his power pushing the constellation back through. Or killing the constellation, whatever the hell just happened. But boy oh boy it was a good one especially how it started like it started off like oh we're going here tiny people what the heck tiny people then oh oh snap tiny people getting slaughtered oh this is kind of crazy and it's like oh no we're tiny people <laughs> and there's a tiny person that's stronger than all the big people <laughs> so it this was a good one i liked it i liked it a lot i can't rank it as far as all the other arcs go because i don't I don't remember all the arcs, from being honest. But this was a good arc. I liked it a lot. We got a lot from this arc. We got a butt like electrification is busted. It's busted because he 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 snagged it from Kyrios and it's full glory. And because he's so low level, he's not able to use it to its fullest extent. The stronger he gets, the stronger he's going to be. The stronger that ability is going to be. So, like, electrification should be something we should see sporadically because it, it's very taxing. We've seen him coughing up blood. He can really handle it. But this should be something, like, in the end game. Like, end, like I'm just thinking of end game. Like, if we get into, like, this crazy galaxy bending fight electrification should be something that we use um so i hope to see him more he looks really cool when he's using it so i'm gonna call that there for um 147 thank you guys peace land was fun i'll see you tomorrow for 148 and that's all i got i had a headache from peace land though peace land got me into my my big brain bag. I got a headache. <laughs> so I'll call it here. Thank you guys again. I appreciate you again. And I'll catch you. Peace out.